of the most vulnerable positions is when we're sleeping in our beds at night and we're just, you know, off in dreamy land and comfy and cozy next to our loved ones. First things first, maybe it's not a bump in the night. Maybe it's just, you know, you smell smoke or whatever. You, you just don't know the dog's outside barking at something and you want to go just go investigate, see what it is. Maybe not an emergency, but you just want to be ready. So just in case it turns into that. I keep my pants loaded. All my stuff in the pockets, knives and multi-tools and all the things are, are, are ready to roll. And I just keep my pants here with the belt on, loaded up, ready to go so I can slip them on quickly and in a hurry. And now along those same lines, I think it's a really good idea to have some really fast slip-on type shoes, something you don't have to worry about tying boot laces up. You just put them on and you're ready to go. Now a gangsta's got to have his gap. Right, so this is my Glock 19. This is a Gen 3 Glock 19. I've had this one for a long time and I have fired thousands of rounds through this guy right here. Every single night I'll sit and read to the kids for a little while. I'll try to read at least a chapter out of a book every night and we're on the Chronicles of Narnia series. We're on book three, The Horse and His Boy. I like to keep a pad of paper and pen next to the bed if I'm laying awake at night thinking about ideas for videos or, or whatever. This is a catch-all. This was my grandpa's actually. This wooden bowl dish and I just throw kind of random miscellaneous stuff that happens to be floating around in my pockets. And This was my Papaw's 50 cal round and something special about this 50 cal round is not just that it's an old 50 cal round, it is also a shank. Check that thing out. <laughs> this is my uh, salt lamp. What it does is it uh, positively, negatively charges the ions in the ionosphere and um, centralizes the ner nervous system while simultaneously balancing the pH of your uh, hemostatic agents. So. Good to have that next to the bedside. <laughs> keep my phone charger right here so I can plug my phone in, keep it next to the bed. You know, if there is that bump in the night, right? And you need to call 911 for whatever reason, uh, get some backup here in a hurry, it'd be a pretty bad idea to have a dead phone laying next to your bed. So. Sometimes I wear my On3 EDC on my belt and I need a tech lock holster like this one. Sometimes I like to wear my on 3D EDC on my neck, like a neck knife. Here's uh, another little neck knife. This is the more Eldris custom handmade sheath by yours truly. Multi-tool. I used to carry this one all the time, actually. This is a family heirloom, basically. Look at this thing. This Look how wore out this is. This was my great-grandfather's pocket knife. Check this thing out. Let's see if I can get it open. Look how wore down the blade is from sharpening it repetitively for years and years and years. There's hardly anything left of it. <laughs> it probably looked a whole lot like this at one point in time. He was Great Depression era individual. So he used and abused until it was completely wore out. Some lighters, just miscellaneous lighters that I, it's always just good to have those around. Uh, a headlamp. Headlamp is super important if the power's out. I want to have a flashlight handy, ready to go, um, ready to rock with fresh batteries in there. I also have some spare batteries in my, my little bowl right there, but I have spare shotgun ammunition. This is a uh, 12 gauge, one and three quarter inch, 15 pellet, number four buckshot. And then right here next to the bed, I keep a Mossberg 590S. S is for short because it will receive and reliably feed those inch and three quarter shells like this guy right here. Very effective at, at close ranges, even a little bit further ranges with some practice, but within the home, this thing is, is super effective. And I added this um, nightstick on here. So it's a really, really bright flashlight. And in addition to it being a really, really bright flashlight, it is also a freaking laser beam. I don't know if you can see it. There it is. You can see that dot, all right? Wherever you put that dot, that laser, it will go away if you pull the trigger. So it's uh, very effective. I could just point, turn on that light, 
I can keep it just I can let it stay on so if you if you hold and then let go it turns off automatically it's just a hold and let go if you touch and let go the light will stay on and you can do that from either side All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Really do appreciate it. Make sure you hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Leave lots of comments. Tell me what you keep next to your bedside at night.